All them bullet boys begging on the back street Making big noise on the back beat Ain't nobody you gonna wanna meet In the lowlands of L.A. Yeah, mama's all yelling across the yards Daddy's at the corner playing 21 cards And I just wanna be a movie star In the lowlands of L.A. Taking on the bars with a suicide kit Trying to make a change, trying to make it legit Bring it on to mama, gone, lick it, it's split In the lowlands of L.A. Somebody's dreaming Somebody's marking time Somebody's thinking it's okay Somebody's hustling yeah, Trying You got a telly in a real loud band Wanna make a noise out in Radio Land Damned if it didn't, well I'll be damned In the lowlands of L.A. Yeah, and you're gonna meet you by the walking bridge At the end of the street by the old wolf ledge Playing every chip on the bed she is In the lowlands of L.A. Somebody's dreaming Somebody's killing time Somebody's thinking it's okay Somebody's hustling They're turning on a dime In the lowlands of hell Hey, what's going on? Hello, how's it going? Uh, Pretty good. Hey, uh, you guys know where I could find Kenmore? Uh, over here. These are just ones in your fact sheets where you guys went to school. Hey. Unfortunately, I have like five of them with the What's IC. happening? And I can't, uh... Hey, could you guys help me a second? I wonder if anybody could tell me where I could find Kenmore. I'm looking for Kenmore. Mm -hmm. You can probably check in that room. They might know. Yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah. Right, right oh, through that door. Right through that door. Hey, thanks. Sure. The primary, this primary area of Kenmore is really cool. Hi. What's this? This is the news committee. Oh. Well, maybe you guys then know uh, where I could find Kenmore. I'm looking for Kenmore. You should probably ask someone out there. I'm sure they know. Oh, here. Well, I've been out here a couple times. Is there... Maybe I could find somebody out here. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey. Over here, then. Huh? Well, I've been around the place here a couple times. Uh, I haven't been having, having any luck here. Uh, anybody have any ideas where I could find Kenmore? Well, uh, why don't you take a look out on the boulevard? You might find what you're looking for there. The boulevard. Well, I'll give that a try. Kenmore, a community situated on the southwest side of Akron, Ohio. It has a unique history, the roots of which actually lie in prehistoric times. The village of Halo, as it was originally named, grew up during the 19th century along a path worn by the hooves of buffalo herds since time immemorial. Later, that same path was followed by American Indian tribes as they walked their canoes between the lakes. The path, later known as the Portage Path, became what we now call Manchester Road, the oldest known traveled road in Ohio. Those same buffalo, no doubt, stopped to water at Nesmith Lake and at Summit Lake, 
carved out by an Ice Age glacier 10,000 years ago. One of the first things that the settlers did was to construct the Ohio Canal. The waterway was routed into the north and south ends of Summit Lake, effectively connecting the ancient water to the Gulf of Mexico by way of the Mississippi River and to the Atlantic Ocean by way of the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway. Trade and commerce had come to the area. In 1891, men drilling for oil near what is now Kenmore Boulevard and Manchester Road discovered salt deposits. These huge deposits were the remnant of a dead sea which had covered the area in an ancient time. Starting at 50 feet and running to a depth of over 2,000, they reached as far as Rittman. Within a year, Investors from Cleveland had started the Colonial Salt Company on the site of what is now Axo Salt. In addition to homes, there was a business district including several stores, three saloons, a blacksmith shop, a wagon and harness repair shop, an evangelical church, and the Zimmerly packing plant. At the turn of the century, it became necessary to run a trolley line from Akron to Barberton. The Akron Realty Company, which had purchased the six farms surrounding the area, made an offer to the Northern Ohio Traction and Light Company. They would grant a right of way through the area all the way to Barberton if the company would build their tracks through the allotment. The deal took place and the tracks were run. This right-of-way became what we now know today as Kenmore Boulevard, the center and lifeline of a new town. In 1908, the village was incorporated, almost named Hazelhurst. But the name Kenmore was chosen after the Virginia estate which belonged to the George Washington family. Kenmore became the fastest growing town in Ohio, filling with homes and families, and having its own city hall, library, and fire station. Off the boulevard, where the trolleys ran, streets were paved, or at least sidewalks were. I did work at number 10's on the boulevard, and I've always told the story that there was something in that station that no other fire station ever had. They had a fire pole that the men slid that was off center of the hole. And you old timers might remember Benny Wagner. He, got, he was quite robust. And they had to move the pole off center so he could slide down. This is just one of our little stories we tell around the fire department. The high school, first located in a cornfield where Hemminger School now stands, graduated its first class of four students in 1907. In a 12-year period, the school had grown from 84 pupils and two teachers to 960 pupils and 32 teachers. The new and larger school was built on its present site in 1917. The town weathered two world wars, Prohibition and the Great Depression, much as the rest of the nation did, with its strength lying in its families, neighborhoods, schools, and churches. And like the rest of the nation in the second half of the century, Kenmore began to see change. Change in families and their role, change in economic status, and a change in values and priorities. These changes were to have a profound effect on the village once known as Halo. Though Kenmore retains a strong base of institutions with nearly a dozen schools, over two dozen churches, and many recreational options, the community has been beset in recent years with a number of problems to solve. These include economic hardship on families, changing neighborhoods, and the question of where it, and most of all, its youth are headed. These are the questions the Kenmore Community Council, in partnership with the City of Akron, Akron Public Schools, Lorain County Community College's Public Services Institute, 
and the University of Akron seek to answer. Phase one of the Kenmore Youth and Family Needs Assessment is currently underway. All children, parents, residents, and non-residents working in Kenmore, such as teachers and business people, are being asked to participate. Everyone has a stake in the community. I think the feeling always was in Kenmore that we didn't vote ourselves part of Akron, they just voted Akron part of us. And uh, although legally we weren't a city, we always felt that we were exclusive, if you don't mind. So I think it's a nice that our ward, in a sense, is taking the, perhaps one of the initial steps in that direction by doing the needs assessment and coming up with a vision for our community. The kid in Kenmore has a lot of different entities. Um, I guess one of the ones that I seem to think is maybe the kid in the land of misfit toys. Um, maybe the kid who um, comes from maybe a decent family but um, has just a lot of issues. And I think that that's, that's one th problem that we have is that people don't want to look at the issues. There's something behind this community that the people come together, pull together at times you know, when you're in need. Uh, Saturday night uh, on Kenmore Boulevard was a big thing. Up where Kenmore Taylors is at, they had uh, the dime store, five and ten cent store. That was a, that was a big thing Saturday night to to go up on the boulevard and and hang out. Yeah, I think the Kenmore Community Council is a great asset. Uh, like nowhere else in the city, this is an organization that's, that's there for the benefit of the community. And um, the programs that they have available and, they, and the help that they have available to the families of Kenmore and the children of Kenmore, uh, I think is a tremendous asset. Uh, it's like no other organization in the city. I think the greatest asset in the Kenmore community is the people fantastic people that, that I had the privilege to work with over that period of time, whether they be the students in the classes when I taught or the players I coached when I was coaching, the parents that I got familiar with through the different programs, the community people, the businessmen, the people on the boulevard, I mean just uh, in the clergy, all the people that, that I came in contact with at Kenmore uh, have, have always been just fantastic people. You know, I think if the community has a little more of a comprehensive feel as to the identified needs within the area, that there is the great potential, particularly at the elementary level where parents seem to be a little more involved with youngsters, seems like as they matriculate into middle school and high school, the involvement drops off, the youngsters get older and don't want mom and dad involved and so forth. So I think the potential is there to identify needs and have parents once again become more involved than they are now. I feel that Kenmore's biggest asset is is the people. I have found a very uh, welcoming, uh, a very kind, a very warm um, people in the Kenmore area. When I when I see families that are real tied to the community, it's almost like they have a history to this community. Perhaps their uncles, perhaps their fathers, perhaps their mothers uh, went to Kenmore, and I. Uh, you know, they, they, they want to live here. When they grow up, they want to live here. In February, phase two will take place. A questionnaire will be given to all students in Kenmore, grade seven and above, who attend Innes Middle School, Immaculate Conception, and Kenmore High School. It will also be offered to all students who live in Kenmore, but who attend schools outside the Kenmore area, such as Coventry or Hoban High. The questionnaire is not mandatory. Therefore, the cooperation and participation of all students and parents in the Kenmore community will be encouraged. Also, participants will remain anonymous. No one will be asked to identify themselves anywhere in the process, so that all questions may be answered honestly with no risk of retribution. Full participation and candor is necessary for the results of the questionnaire to have meaning. In phase three, planned for the spring, a series of town meetings will be held at various locations in Kenmore. These will be facilitated by persons from the Public Services Institute of Lorraine Community College. There will be at least one conducted for students only, in which 25 to 30 students representing the racial, ethnic, 
academic, and socio-economic diversity of the community will participate. No parents, teachers, or other Kenmore adults will be in attendance. This will allow the youth of the community to speak freely. There will be no tape or video permitted. The same will be conducted for 15 to 20 individual parents, also selected for their representation of the community's diversity. Another will be open to any concerned persons, including people who live and or work in Kenmore. This third forum will be an open town meeting where everyone will be given the opportunity to offer input into the process. The problems and the strengths of the community will be explored with a goal of obtaining a wide cross-section of the community. It is possible that more than one open forum will take place. The more you keep your children involved in activities, the less time they're going to have on the street. They're searching for someone to help them. I mean, even the kids that seem to be quote, discipline problems. You know, a lot of people think they are. Um, I find a lot of times they're not discipline problems. They're just looking for somebody to maybe um, help them, uh, give them a little support, a little security, um, care about them. A lot of the kids, believe it or not, really just, like you say, they do need a place to go. I mean, once the 3.30 bell rings, we almost have to kick these kids out. You know, iron gates go up, warning buzzers and things like that that you can't come in here. But I think it's, uh, it's a tremendous waste of a, of a tremendous facility. A place to go, uh, to me, means that we offer our children um, in the present uh, the future that they aren't just our future tomorrow, they're our future today. Um, we can't look at them, at them as um, projections of, another, of uh, the next 10 years. They are today. I guess a particular thing that comes to mind is that the kids on a boulevard, you know, a lot of times you say that they shouldn't be on a boulevard, but when you talk to the kids and you get a chance to know them, and you talk to them specifically about their homes and you listen to them, if you lived in their homes, you wouldn't want to be there either. I think Kenmore's greatest asset is its young people because they're the future. I don't live in the Kenmore community, okay? Uh, this is my 14th year here at the Kenmore High School. One of my greatest problems as I live my life away from Kenmore High School is the perception that the rest of the community has of the Kenmore community. Um, thanks to media, Kenmore is Kenmore Boulevard and nothing more. And I think that's probably the biggest misconception about the Kenmore community. There's so much more to this community than the boulevard. Um, so because that publicity is negative, um, that's a strike against us before we ever get started. And I say we because this is, this is my second home. Um, but for some kids, I do see that boulevard as a type of family. Uh, it's where they hang out. It's where they live. It's where they do their growing up. I do not live in the Kenmore area, but um, being in this area for the number of years that I have, the main asset or one of the greatest assets I think that Kenmore has is the people. And I think there's a community-minded spirit in Kenmore. And I think we all want to work together for the betterment of the area. And I have seen and heard of a lot of activity that is going on that is doing just that. I, for one, would just like to add my support from this particular viewpoint that whatever can be done to address the needs for these youngsters to have a place where they can come feel welcome and not only just as a place to sit and talk and discuss but a place where their talents and their artistic abilities perhaps their literary abilities poetry and prose can be taken seriously and nurtured just get behind us and we'll do everything we can to educate your children this is this is still the best kept secret in Akron Kenmore High School is it's the best staff I've ever worked with uh, other teachers are dying to get in here to become teachers at Kenmore um, we'll compare ourselves with any high school in Akron favorably we always have and uh, we'll do our part we just need the community to kind of help us out and get behind us again like we used to we have kids who are uh, behaving antisocially, but they don't know it, um, doing destructive things, but they don't know it, 
and uh, they're not equipped to uh, take the role that we think they should take in society of being a productive citizen. They, they're not able to do that really through, in most cases, through no fault of their own. Yeah, I would like to say that I think Kenmore is the best kept secret in Akron. I've taught here for 25 years. I've had a chance several times to go to other schools. I would not leave. We do need a facility uh, that cannot be afforded by, by individual churches or civic groups or anything uh, that would significantly address uh, what, what ne is needed in the way of uh, providing for a comprehensive development of children and youth. I, I definitely think this needs assessment and this program is, is uh, probably one of the greatest things that's happened in Akron. Not only in Kenmore, I know it's definitely Kenmore, but I think it's one of the greatest things that has a happened in Akron. I think it's probably the most single most important thing that Kenmore will ever have. Once uh, we have started this, uh, as I would say, a spark, um, we're going to be keeping the fire going. I think that it's the start of taking the time to take our rose-colored glasses off and taking a real good look at what's around us. After each phase, the Public Services Institute will provide a written summary to the Kenmore Community Council detailing observations and conclusions of that phase. A final report and recommendation will be presented at that time. What the results will tell is unknown, but community leaders in Kenmore believe that they will have a start on identifying the needs, fears, hopes, and dreams of the people of Kenmore. If you live or work in Kenmore, have children in school or grown up and gone, and if you care about the future of this valuable community, Help the Kenmore Community Council by participating with your children in the Youth and Family Needs Assessment. Working together, Kenmore will have the opportunity to define its needs, hopes, and dreams for the coming years. The families, the children, the future are waiting. Not 
Now you see abandoned buildings, what's the boulevard? Stars for roses coming out the concrete. Waking up from my sleep, take the bones and make museums come alive like it's Jumanji. It won't live if we don't breathe it and hope the kids can see it. Let the youth work with experience to make us all achieve it. We survived the worst of treatment, so let the feet walk the streets beneath it. This city got heart, and this is where we need to keep it. It's a threat their shop worn walls could tell All the stories and the lives that they know so well All the people in the trolleys at the curbside crawl The singers and the drummers in the music all gonna roll it on 